For the longest time, people took it upon themselves to constantly remind me and you that Donald Trump was the most arrogant person who ever lived. Okay? And Donald Trump became this, this totem of arrogance. He was the worst person who ever lived, Donald Trump. Okay, fine. Let me explain something to you. Fannie Willis is the most arrogant person who's ever lived. And the only reason she serves any purpose whatsoever is to remind people through a particular identifiable example, an exemplar of this, how bad this system is. This system is so screwed up. And every day I try to find new ways to talk about, ways to alert you, to alarm you, to make you angry, to make you vote. If you don't vote, I was reading some of these uh, numbers, these statistics of people who vote. I mean, the numbers are I, I, from twenty from twenty eighteen to twenty twenty two, according to Pew researchers, the share of citizens eighteen or older who voted in 2018, 2020, and twenty twenty two thirty seven percent. Let me just stop right there. If you don't vote. So everything that we're talking about, everything that we're talking about is a joke if you don't vote. Every single thing that we're talking about, everything, is, is nothing's going to get better unless we vote. And that's it. And people will have to complain, and, and that's what we do. We, who do these particular platforms that we do, we love to complain about stuff. We talk about stuff, and there are different types of complainers. You want to complain about the evil. There are people who love to talk about how evil things are. Evil is Satan and this and the corrupt. Okay, fine. They like that. that that's their thing. Fine. Okay. That's terrific. Other people want to talk about education. Okay, fine. Other people want to talk about race. Everybody wants to talk about something that is... Some really, really, really serious, but but they but they don't vote. If you voted, it'd be a different story. If you voted, if you scared the living hell out of politicians, the world would be different. And I don't know how to explain that to you any other diff any other way other than that. And you can complain all you want, you can bitch all you want, you could point to this and that and Satan and God and Jesus and and uh and the demise of this, and woke, and, and it doesn't matter. If you don't vote, and they know you don't vote, and it never happens. And the only reason that anybody, that, that, that by, by the way, people do vote, sometimes negatively, and sometimes it's, for example, in, in Fulton County, um, uh, invariably, that is a Democratic stronghold, and because it's a Democratic stronghold, people like Fannie Wilson will be, will be uh, re- um, Reelected, which is fine. Listen, that's that's if you want to have a system, you take it warts and all. But let me tell you how stupid we are. And this is the part that really we're losing common sense, we're losing the ability to focus, and we're we're losing the ability to identify things and to critically think like what needs to be done about that. We have we love to complain about stuff. Let me give an example, which I think is the is the the mean the mean the the most ridiculous thing I have seen in a long time. And there is absolutely no reason why I should hear one more case about this. Squatting. I don't understand. Maybe it's because we don't care about our own um, our own border. Maybe that's it. Maybe, 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 maybe for the for reasons I don't understand, maybe, oddly enough, maybe, maybe. Maybe Americans don't understand that you you own stuff and people can come in and take it. You've been through riots and nobody did anything. I I don't understand, and, and I mean this, and I asked this question and I said, I asked a friend of mine, I said, can you tell me why there is a rule, that why there is not a, a shoot-to-kill order in terms of rioting? And I asked a very simple question. I said, can you tell me why there is no shoot to kill order? Why, why that is considered draconian? Why that's considered, you know, you can't do that. Well, why not? Why? Now, I can give you some good reasons why. Somebody may be just standing there. Somebody might be not rioting. Somebody may just be outside. There's a good reason for it. But they don't think that. They just think, well, we, we can't do that. Who says we can't do that? 
Who says we can't do that? If there was going to be a rule that says shoot to kill, I know it sounds crazy. Say, like, don't go out there. Don't go out there. Yeah, but I want to take pictures. Well, I wouldn't take pictures if I were you. We're giving you a heads up. We got these police. We got these special police. And they're coming in. And if you're standing out there, there's no reason why you should be in this place with windows broken and things on fire. No reason whatsoever. Get inside. And if you don't live there, get the hell out of there. Because this is now a war zone. And we're putting you on notice. Now, I don't know about you, but if somebody told me that, I wouldn't be there. But there are others who say, no, you can't do that. Why can't you do that? Why? Why? And, and we thought, I guess we can do that. Yes, you can do that. Yes. Yes. Yes, you can do that. You can do that. Did you know that? Yes, you can do that. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. You can do it. You can do it. Did you know that? It's true. You can do it. Now, here's one for me, because that's that's the whole thing I, I don't understand. It's it's funny. Fanny Willard, I, I, again, I find her so just absolutely. Somebody saw me the other day. It was, um uh, uh, who was it? Uh, um, oh, it was on one of my routine. Uh, Candace Owens making fun of her speech as she speaks Ebonics. Okay. All right, Candace. All righty. Okay. If, is that it? Is that, is that, is that your take on this? How she speaks? Do you ever make fun of um, John, John Kennedy? I mean, you know, or is that okay? This was, <clears throat> believe me, when you look at Fannie Willis, you, you'll, you'll get to her voice eventually. Same thing with Tiffany Head, uh, Hedner, Hedner, Hedner. Uh, she is, she is the, she is also another, uh, African-American, henyard. By the way, there's a great word you can't use anymore because it sounds terrible, but it was good at one particular point. Negress. Men, a black woman can't use that. Why? Just, well, why not? You can't. Okay. Well, whatever you say. Doesn't sound good. Okay. All right. Negritude? No, 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 no. Don't I, I? I love the way there are these rules. I say, excuse me, who decides these rules? I. Why can't I use this word? It's a legitimate word. I'm not making it up. It's not a. Anyway, doesn't matter. The number one issue, the the number one reason why I think this country is going straight to hell, is there are stories stories about squatting. Have you heard this? Have you heard the latest thing? Squatting. What do you think Fanny Willis would do if you tried to squat on her Heapville sublet? What do you think she would do? What do you think she would do? But she threw her there. I don't know what to do. I got a squatter there. I don't know if I can get him out. Excuse me. Who is he? You mean he's a burglar? No, he's a squatter. Excuse me. Why is he? Where did this come from? What? What? There was I, I read this in Daily Mail. It was it's a black fellow who says you know I was taking care of my mother and, and there's these squatters and by the way squatters have no there's no racial um, um, uh, uh, you know protection where black squatters protect no 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 it doesn't it doesn't really matter one way or the other but in any event there's this thing I said why is there squatters I'll take care of it and very simply this we go to court and we say what is your name my name is so and so are you the owner yes do you have any kind of record or deed or yes okay. Who are those people? I don't know who those people are. Are they paying you rent? No. Did you send them information? Yep. Did you, quote, ev do, ev evict them? Did you ever have any kind of relationship with them whatsoever? Were they ever a tenant or a lessee? or No. Nope. Never did. Okay. And they're in there, yeah. Okay. I want to have this special unit. I want to have this special police unit. It's very simple. And we bring them in. And when you see them, you think, uh-oh. Remember SWAT? They had SWAT team. SWAT. Remember, special weapons and tactics. It was a. It was. It was a. It was a. It was a. It was a show on ABC. It was a SWAT. Steve Forrest or something. Special weapons and the truck showed up, and they they got out of their regular uh, uniform and they put on the black and their black capped SWAT. Maybe maybe with their M you know the rifles. And this clunky truck, just one truck would show up, and they would. You know, position themselves. You know, okay, fine. Now, people they they used to during the Rudy Giuliani case, they would walk around all the time with M4s. You see them in 
you see them all the time walking around with machine guns. Not anymore because there's no law and order anymore. And that's the that's a that's a deliberate move on these parts. Anyway, so I was sent in my special unit, and when you would see them, you would see them in an, an identifiable truck. I say, uh oh, this is not good. And we say, where's the house? That one there is the squatter in there. Okay, come on, let's go in. On the count of five, we're the special unit. Count of five. If you don't come out, we're coming in. And if we're coming in, we're not going to be very nice. It's up to you. You have no right to be here. I don't want to hear about it. We have determined that you are going to get out now. This is not your home. You're burglary. You're a felon. Okay? And you're committing a felony. Ready? Okay. One, two, three, five. Go in, grab them, drag them out. Have them on TV. Just drag them out by the hair. I don't care. Just drag them out. Thrown to the curb, all their stuff thrown out, and then they're arrested immediately. Arrested because they're burglars, and then we look at we assess the damage and we figure out that there's no way you're going to get any money from them. But but they're out, they're out, and we tell them. And if we find out that you do this again, you will do a minimum mandatory five years state prison. Let's say five years. Now that's the way I would take care of it. It is done. It's over. Believe me. Believe me, but we don't do this. Can you tell me why we don't do that? Can you tell me why squatting? Why there's these squatters? You watch on YouTube, there's this these squatters. I don't understand it. Why is there squatting? Why why does this occur? I, I don't this is something that confounds me more than anything you can imagine. Can I I I, I cannot tell you. I hear these stories. I don't understand any of this. I don't understand any of this. I told you the other day, things I don't understand. I just don't get it. Now, I'm going to tell you, I mean, I, I can point things out, but unless you vote, unless you take my ideas and you pick up the phone and you say, listen, we represent a group of people. Uh, we're in this district. And if you, if you do not come up with legislation right now, District 5, Fayetteville, whatever, whatever it is, if you don't do it, we're going to put somebody up to oppose you. Do you understand that? We're going to vote against you. We're going to stand in front of your office all day long that says, Congressman Malcolm, whatever, my, does nothing about squatting. We were, we will make your life a living hell. We'll go on social media. We will, until we get what we want. You're a servant. You work for us. That's the way. Until that attitude takes place, we're wasting our time. We're wasting our time. You understand what I'm saying? We're wasting our time. All this stuff is just, we're just wasting our time. This is just, this is great. I mean, it's fun what I'm saying. I love to bring things up to you. I, I love to talk with you. But the bottom line is, if everybody voted, you, you wouldn't need me or anybody else because you would be, the government would be so scared. They would say, oh, oh, you don't like Fannie Willis? She's gone. 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 We, we don't like her. And we're going to vote her out, and you want if if that's what indeed this particular group of people believe, whatever they want, that's it. I will not understand. I don't understand any of this. So what we do is we live in a world where everybody just bitches and moans and complains, but nobody votes. Nobody votes. I have no idea. Now I hope in this particular case it means to me more than ever that. President Trump wins this thing. And let me just explain something to you. President Trump is not. By the way, anybody here not voting for Trump? Anybody? By the way, it's not adverse possession. Next, Pharaoh. Not even close. Open notorious. Uh, uh, adverse possession without color or title? No. Adverse possession is... How many years is that? Was it 12, 20, adverse... T 10 years? Oh, in New York, it's 10 years. Uh, it can't be done in secret. It's going to be open and notorious. 20 years sometimes. Check, check, your, check your own particular state. But this is not adverse possession at all. Not in the least. Okay. Edge dweller, he's in Australia. You have an excuse. Anybody not? Anybody not voting? Anybody not voting for Trump? It's okay. Anybody who says, I'm voting Democrat. And by the way, unlike other places, if you don't vote, you're, you're welcome here. You stay here. You, you, you have a free say in this. I, I don't care. Uh, you, there's, there's no litmus test here. You have the right to vote. I want you to vote. And there's a lot of reasons not to like him. I'm sorry. It, but, my, but I don't think they're 
the 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 outweigh the reasons to vote for him. But that's just me. Anybody here? Anybody here? <laughs> Mark Lewis says, I died. Of course, I'm voting. <clears throat> Undecided. Anthony, very good. Okay. It's okay. Listen, undecided is fine. No problem whatsoever. <clears throat> and when you talk to somebody, <clears throat> there we go. That's a good one. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Sometimes the, the humidity is just perfect. And when you talk to somebody who is not voting for Trump, listen, I, 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 I'm not, you, you, you can't clobber somebody because they, whatever. It's okay. Believe me. I understand this. I understand this. Um, there were people who said, and I always try to listen to people who vote for, um, I think that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. Someone says, I think the lion farted for the second time. Uh, yes. If you count that as, as hand farting, but that's okay. I don't particularly care who you're, whatever there is. The thing is, I'm going to vote. 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 I've never missed a vote. I don't think I'm my entire, I don't think I've missed a vote ever. I I just vote. I vote. I vote. I vote. You can always count on me. I may be, I may live in a place where my vote, I live in New York City where Whatever the vote is doesn't really matter. That's okay. Listen, a Republican democracy means that people have the right to vote for anybody they want. That's okay. I dig it. And it's my duty as a public commentator and public intellectual to, to let people know what it is that I think and why these people are right or wrong. But, and the first thing is I, 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 I can't insult you. But I must understand. I must be able to tell you this is this is what's going on in this country. So, I was listening, interestingly enough, to a couple of things. I'm going to be doing a, a video later about this. I, I I love this group. How do I say this? I The people that I despise the most. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, they took the last train for the coast. The people that I despise the most of everybody are those people in conventional, what you would call woke leftist media, okay? And I was listening to, don't ask me, I go through these, I was listening to um, Eliezer talking recently about, you've got to watch him speak about uh, artificial intelligence. Oh my God, that is painful, but fascinating. And then I'll get tired of that and then I'll go someplace else. But for some reason, I'm back in the Fran Lebowitz world. And Fran Lebowitz is such an enigma. And be careful how you say that. And I, I, she is one of these people who was a prototypical lefty who hates Trump, just hates Trump and hates Trump and hates. And it's like, well, what do you, what, what do you stand for? I don't know, but I hate Trump. Okay, fine. And I'm, and I know you've met these people before. They just hate Trump. Trump is whom they hate and that's all they want. So, and, and I believe me, I have no problem with that. I have no, I, I have no problem as long as you are, you are able to, to, to say whatever you want about anybody. Do you understand this? This is the problem. Now, very, very critical, very, very important, very, 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 uh, uh, how do I say this? Um, Hang on. I'm going to enter this text. Unless and until we figure a way to get our side intact, unless and until, we're just wasting our time. So I was watching this Fran Lebowitzen. I think I told you there was a in Radio City in April. Dr. Jordan B. Peterson. Doctor, doctor. Jordan Peterson. Now, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna explain to anybody. If, if somebody, God bless you. If you want to go out and hear somebody, good for you. I want to ask people uh, a very simple fact. What is it that these people are standing for? Well, one thing is simply this. Let me see if I can explain something to you. And this is the most important thing. And I hope you're listening to me. And I hope you don't take this the wrong way. And please, you can tell anybody who is. Um, uh, the uh, any, anybody who, who's doing this professionally, this is exactly the way it works. Let me see if I can explain this to you. Okay, it works like this number one, the first thing you do is to make sure 
that you always perpetuate your job. You understand this? You have to... You have to make sure you always, always, always perpetuate your job so that whatever it is, you realize and you recognize that you are here to say whatever you need to say to your audience to have them come back to you. Because this may or may not be, uh, I don't know if you knew this or not, but in the old days, the commentators, the Mort Sauls and the and the uh, Dick Gregorys and the George Carlins and the Lenny Bruces and even the Bill Hicks, and those are more comedians, but Saul Bellow, whoever it is, any William F. Buckley, they never wanted their, they never wanted their um, message to be to replace voting, but to supplement voting. And what we're seeing right now is something very simple. What we're seeing, something very interesting, we are talking about a group of people who, instead of voting, want to watch and listen. They will pay money. They will go to Radio City. They'll get parking or whatever it is. They'll spend a lot of money, maybe get drinks or a meal before. You have no idea how expensive this place is. And they, and I think it's wonderful. And the number of people there who don't vote would astound you. Because for some particular reason, I don't know why, people believe that that is in lieu, that that in lieu of voting matters. There are people who believe that how many likes you get, that it matters. It does in terms of, of, of quantifying, it, it, it does in terms of quantifying, you know, money and, uh, and uh, marketability. Yeah, of course. Yes, 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 certainly. But it does not in any way mean anything if you don't vote. It's a waste of time. A complete and total waste of time. Do you hear what I'm saying? A complete and total waste of time. Every single thing that I do is always to tell you, go vote. Listen to me all you want. That's important, but go vote. I I can accomplish, We, you and I can accomplish nothing if it does not work. Now, by the way, not, not everything, not everything is, is, is voting. There are some things that we can do. We, we can change, for example, societal norms. Um, there is no law per se against, or, or that, that deals with, how do I say this, uh, trans or whatever it is. I mean, there's no, nobody's really, because nobody believes that. Nobody believes any of this stuff. Nobody, nobody, but nobody. It's not like COVID. A lot of people actually believed in the the uh, the feeling about COVID. They they really felt like COVID was as bad as they say. You had some who did, some who didn't. But this, I promise you, if you went to a thousand people, a thousand people, and you said, "Listen, seriously, we have these buttons here. Just answer yes or no, and nobody will know who it is." How many of you believe that there really is no such thing as males and females in terms of gender and sex? Not not in your head, not sexuality, but in terms of gender and sex. How many people? Nobody would. Nobody. I was listening to this again. I bring up this Fran Lebowitz, and she she's the only one who last wrote in the seventies, I believe. And Martin Scorsese brought her back to prominence. People love her now. She hasn't written anything since. She's a writer who doesn't write. <laughs> okay, I think she might she might have written. Some, I, I don't know. Anyway, but but she's a woman who was um. I don't want to say demonstrably gay. To her credit, she never brings up anything about being her own personal life. Her 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 relationships she's she wears basically the same men's uh uh blazer and the boots and well, anyway anyway she's very funny she's she's very good but she is profoundly liberal except when it comes to the notion of of gender maybe because she's 73 or 70 whatever age she is nobody believes this Nobody, 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 nobody believes this. You understand what I'm saying? Nobody believes this. Nobody. Let me try to say this again to you. Yes, she's 73. Nobody believes this. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you have heard, and there's this YouTube going around. Who is it? Um, 
there's my friend Ian Miles Chong who 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 shows this. These he is very very good. But oh look at these! Look at this this person who who's with the military who says, "Well, I'm 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 um I'm uh, trans or whatever." And I think you know I don't know how many people there really really believe this stuff. Nobody does in any event. That you and I can help. That we don't have to vote. We can be cultural warriors. We can go out and do our, our stuff. But in terms of anything that really matters, it's a different story. So that's number one. I'm going to be talking about that. Number two, I want you to go out and I want you to embrace, embrace the conspiracist in you. Now, let me explain something to you. We're going to try this again, and I'm going to see if I can explain this again to you. And listen very carefully. Listen to me very, very carefully. Because you don't believe your government, you are not a conspiracy theorist. Because you believe, let's say, in weather manipulation, does not mean that you are a believer in a conspiracy. Does everyone know what a conspiracy is? Does anybody know what that means? You know what a conspiracy is? Do you, you, you understand? That's Annie Leibovitz is the photographer. Good, good point, though. Good, good, good catch. This is Fran. She, I think, Metropolitan Life. She wrote. She's a, she's an author. She was always, she's always, she's always, she smokes and she, she's got this point of view. She, she's this funja face all the time. She just talks about New York. Everybody's whatever. Anyway, that's Fran Leibovitz versus Annie. Is that Leibovitz or Leibovitz? Anyway, I keep saying anyway, and I shouldn't say. That. The a conspiracy. Do you understand what I mean by this? Do you understand what I mean? Do you understand what I mean by this? Do you understand what I mean? Let me explain something to you. If the government is, let me ask you something. Uh, if 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 the government is putting is poisoning your water, is that a conspiracy theory? If the government is poisoning your water, is that a conspiracy theory? Is that a conspiracy theory? Yes or no? Answer my question. And this is this is what you should do to all of your friends. Is this a conspiracy theory? Yes or no? You say no. It's truth. Okay, maybe. Well, you're assuming it's truth. Without due respect, you're 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 assuming it's truth. But 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 we 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 don't know. But but we we suspect whatever. But let let's just assume for the sake of argument, is it a conspiracy theory? Now this is kind of a trick question. A little bit of a trick question, but still, nonetheless, it's pretty good. Do you understand that? Is it a trick? Do you, who believes this? Okay. The issue is not, listen to me very carefully. In the case of this hypothetical that I gave you, of let's say the government theoretically poisoning your water, the issue is not that two or more people have met together in the desire to to uh, uh, um, what am I trying to say? In the desire of doing something. Let me see if I can let me rephrase this. A conspiracy theory is a theory about the conspiracy with no interest whatsoever in what they are conspiring to do. If your government is poisoning your water. Do you care that your water is being poisoned? Again, hypothetically. Or do you care that there is a conspiracy? The answer is, you, you don't care if it's done in the open, if it's done secretly, if it's done with some confederation of two guilty people. You don't care how it's done. It could be done by pro public proclamation. They could announce it. If they say, just like adverse possession, somebody said, adverse possession has to be open and notorious, has to be open. You have to seize this property, not secretly. You have to take it as your own. You say, this is mine. I'm using it. You know, that kind of thing. So the idea is a conspiracy theory. We, I, I don't care how this thing is manifested, whether it's a conspiracy theory, whether it's um, whether it's a group of people who, 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 who um, act in, in concert, a conspiracy. A conspiracy is you and me agreeing to do something. It is the conspiracy from the Latin conspirare. 
Do you see what I'm saying? To breathe with. The conspiracy is a crime of two or more people who agree to commit a crime and, and act on that agreement. It's the organization. The conspiracy is a key part of, of organized crime and can uh, create criminal liability even if no prep, uh, preparation has begun. Let me say this again to you. The government hates a conspiracy. You can go to prison just because of the fact that you are involved in a conspiracy, even though nothing has happened. It's the idea, the very idea of you working in concert with someone. That is the violation. Do you understand that? We don't even care. Conspiracy. Ah, don't you want to know what we conspired to do? Nope. Nope. Doesn't matter. You conspired. We hate the organization. We hate the idea of two people working together. You can be a you. You can conspire to commit murder. You can conspire to uh, kill somebody, and nothing happened. Nothing. It, it was you. You. you Never got to it yet, or you were arrested. It doesn't matter. So when people say to you, there you go with your conspiracy theories, you can say, no, I have no interest in the conspiracy whatsoever. I am interested in what is being done, not how it is being done. Do you care whether you were burgled by a group of people who were acting as a conspiracy or people who acted just separately? You don't give a shit. Pardon my French, pardon me. But you you were, said, excuse me, I was burgled. They burgled my house. They took my stuff. They entered a remain in a dwelling with the intention of committing an offense therein. They committed burglary. I don't care how how they did it. And grew a group of people, five people. It doesn't matter to me. Where's my stuff? You came into my it's the conspiracy that is always missed. In American culture today, listen to me carefully. Please promise me, because you will you you will be the the bell of your lunch group or your dinner companions or your dating life or whatever it is. For some reason, in our country, we have transmuted the word conspiracy theory for you believing that something is being done. Now, usually, for the most part, for the most part, this is not announced publicly. For example, I believe that there is, as we speak, geoengineering that is occurring. Why? I read it online. They tell me this. They tell me this. Go to G go to geoengineering, Google it, and look at everything from Gates to MIT to Harvard to this, how EU countries are trying to ban. You used to call them chemtrails. I don't, but they did. People say, oh, that's a conspiracy theory. No, it's not a conspiracy because, no, this is this is governmental action. This is not a conspiracy. What? This is not a conspiracy. This is this is not two or more people acting in concert to commit a crime. They're doing this. This is public. This is public. Whatever. There is a there is an there is an actual uh, uh there is an actual procedure in which your government, if you're an American. If your government right now, this current government extant, is not doing anything to prevent your borders from being breached, that is not a conspiracy theory. That's a that's that's a it's not even a theory. It's happening now. Nobody is doing this secretly. They're they're not conspiring. They're doing this in the open. The conspiracy is merely. That's like if I said to you, that's a duo theory. What you have a theory of two people who are. That's a duo theory. You are a dual, duoist, a duo. What? Oh, you're talking about that? Oh, that, that's like when people say, oh, I'm sorry, it's not serial killing, that's mass murder. That's a spree killer. Well, okay, thank you very much. It's murder. How it was done, what was the motivation. If your family, if your auntie, if your Aunt Phoebe is murdered by some lunatic, you don't really care whether it was done. Maybe he was drunk or high one night. 
Maybe this was the third in a row, thus without a cooling off period, thus, thus giving rise to a serial killer. Uh, could have been a spree killer, could have been a, a mass murder. Well, what do you care? Your, your aunt is dead. The form of the death means nothing. The form, that is what we're doing now. Ladies and gentlemen, do you hear what I am saying to you? Do you hear what I am saying to you? That's what I'm saying. So this is not a conspiracy theory. So the reason why I say this was Cat Williams, now they're breaking apart everything he said because they're saying he's a lunatic. He's speaking, he's talking about conspiracy theories about the government. Saying, no, he's not. Again, again, these are not conspiracy theories. If you are saying that, if you believe that uh, Donald Trump's election was stolen, I don't care how it was stolen. Was it a conspiracy? Was it an overt act from people who were disassociated? Now, sometimes a conspiracy is, is required. For example, back to Fannie Willis, the Georgia co corruption case. <laughs> I'm sorry. The, the, the weather, this is just perfect. The, 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 the uh, tackiness is perfect. Anyway, I'll stop doing that. Um, the, the actual uh, act itself, this racketeering, kind of implies and, in, and, and involves a degree of people. Do you hear me? Stop for a second, dear friend. Stop. Just listen to me carefully. Listen to me very, very carefully. Listen, listen to me. Just, just take, take a, just take a breath and listen very, very carefully to my dear friend and yours. You want to talk about somebody who was the subject of a conspiracy, a criminal conspiracy to, to drive. Oh, two or more people conspiring to put him out of business. Oh, Mike Lindell from, from um, mypillow.com promo code Lionel. Well, it is time yet again, my friends, to hail and salute our great friends at MyPillow.com. And if you use promo code Lionel, you'll get a free gift. No purchase necessary. And yes, I know a free gift. It's a tautology. So sue me. But first, please listen. What are we talking about here? Down comforters, flannel sheets, Giza Dream bed sheets, my pillow 2.0 sheet slippers, percales, towels, quilts, bedspreads, mattresses, mattress covers, mattress toppers, linens, kitchen towels, bathrobes, name it, literally name it. Items to help you luxuriate and relax. And they're monster sellers, slippers, my slippers. That's right, slip ons, moccasins. Think about it. What do they do at my pillow? They make things real soft and plush and comfy. How perfect. Now here's the link. MyPillow.com promo code Lionel or MyPillow.com slash Saladis or Virgil slash Lionel or call 800-645-4965 and watch how fast Mike answers the phone. MyPillow.com promo code Lionel. Promo code Lionel. Simply and absolutely the best. Now, like I was saying, I'm very interested in how they're going after Mr. Cat Williams. They are saying that he's a lunatic, that he believes in conspiracy theories. Again, I say to you, no, there's no indication whatsoever that he had any, any mention as to how these things were done. He merely, he merely talks about other aspects of this, other things. He talks about other means by which certain terrible things occur. It's that simple. I don't know how to put this. I don't know how to explain this to you, but I will do the best I can. Let me see if I can bring you up to speed regarding this one particular piece. This was a this was a wonderful, where do I have this? This was, oh yes. This is from April of 1997. This is the US uh, Secretary of Defense, William Cohen, who declared that there are terrorists at work who, and I quote, are engaging even in an eco type of terrorism whereby they can alter the climate, set off earthquakes, volcanoes, remotely through the use of electromagnetic waves. Tell me, is he a conspiracy theorist? He was the Secretary of Defense. He is telling you, this is a conspiracy theory. He's telling you. 
Do you see where we go with this? This is the first thing we have to do. You have to go through every, you have to join me in correcting anybody who, anybody who says conspiracy theory, you correct him right off the bat. By the way, I want to say special thanks to Jeff Brewer, a new member. And the man, here he is. Uh, Sparky says, you reflexively brought up the Scottsboro Boys when I brought up Leo Frank, small world. My cousin was best friends with Nell Harper Lee when they were in college. Oh, very interesting. You know, it's one of those things that you uh, talk about uh, how many people, people that, oh, how do I say this? People, people that, uh, uh, um, how do I say this? Oh, uh, the Scottsboro Boys, by the way, were an inspiration for a book, To Kill a Mockingbird. And yes, Sparky, and one of the things also we believe very much is that the uh, that uh, Harper Lee wrote uh, to uh, in Cold Blood, and not and not and not uh, Truman Capote, which is uh, hard to uh, to refute per se. Remember one thing. Let me ask you a question. They crucified Jesus for being the Son of God. Was he guilty? I ask this question all the time. Was he guilty? Jesus was, uh, they, Jesus said, in essence, I'm the son of God. I and or I, behold, Jesus, uh, uh, king of the Jews or whatever it was. But he says, I'm the son of God. Was he guilty? As charged. And when I told him, well, he's not guilty. Well, you're saying he wasn't God? Well, I'm saying, well, he was guilty. Well, that's not a charge. It may not be a charge. It may not be a valid charge, but understand who is guilty of what? You see, my friends, what I want you to do is I want you to go out there and I want you to think. I want you to empower you. Empower you. Tell me, all of you, whenever you say, whenever somebody says conspiracy, well, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist. So you have a theory on whether this was a conspiracy or a non-conspiracy union or an enterprise or a what? What are you talking about? You said you were a conspiracy theorist. Yes. So you have a theory that this is a conspiracy? I don't know what you're talking about. You said there is a conspiracy theory. Okay. Right? Okay. So you have a theory about the conspiracy status. So if you... Why do you think this was a conspiracy? People don't understand. They think conspiracy means crime. They think conspiracy means something that is nefarious, something that is problematic. That's what they actually believe in. And we have to go out of our way to teach them. We have to, do, we have to tell them this. I want to kill that word. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Do you hear what I say? Do you hear what I say? Edge Dweller says, hang on, uh, I do not hold a university degree for that or decree. I like it. Well, you, you, do not, you do not need it. You do not need it at all. You do not need such. But I believe in precision. I believe in saying things the way they should be. Like, for example, quit saying they robbed my house. They can't rob a house. They rob a person. You cannot rob an inanimate person. You cannot do it. Do you hear this? There are some things that just makes it. There are just some things. I just like to correct people. Hopefully, I'll be there. You're going to be there full of hope? What? You said, hopefully, I will be there. Yeah, you mean, I hope I will be there. That's what I said. No, you said, hopefully, I will be there. You will be there full of hope. Thankfully, I'll be there full of thanks. What? No, that's not what I meant. Why do you say that then? I don't know why I say that. That's because that's what everybody says. Well, it's wrong. Don't use that word anymore. How many people, raise your hand, how many people refer to the vulva as vagina? Anybody? Anybody? Come on, how many people, you've done it, you've done it. Hey, I saw her vagina. Really? You did? What, did you have a speculum? Was she on a table? Huh? What? What are you talking about? No, is it, that's not her vagina. It's not. Well, what do you mean? This is this is this is the this is the thing that drove me crazy. And I would get to the, I said, and you're a woman. You don't understand the vagina. I just don't know what a vagina is. No, you know, it's a canal, the birth control canal. And the introitus, you might have seen that. You might have seen the introitus, the opening, but 
You cannot, you cannot see a vagina. I cannot see a urethra. I can see a meatus. I can, you cannot, you cannot see it. I cannot see your colon. I cannot see internal things. I cannot see them. We had a statute in Florida one time that says it is unlawful for a woman to expose sexual organs. How can you expose sexual organs? How? If you're a woman, they're internal. How could she expose it? We're so bloody stupid. We have no, and don't feel bad, ladies. At least women are, women are taught to tell them, hey, you know, women are this. Do a breast exam. You know, they, they check. They look, they check. Men are like, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But you know, I don't know. I got nothing. Everything, you know, I don't know. Testicular cancer can be stopped, can be prevented, well, not being prevented, but, but, but can be treated or identified early by doing, by palpating testicles. I would love to tell people, palpate your testicles. <clears throat> I'm going to go across the country saying, know your nuts. Know your nuts. Know them. When you go to the doctor and say, hey, I felt something here. It's a cyst, I guess. How long have you had that? I don't know. I don't, know. don't you palpate? No, I don't. I don't, I don't even know what palpate means. You mean touch them? Oh, well, I touch them, but not, not the way you think. I don't, I don't know. Well, how long have you had this? I have no idea. Men, does your, did you ever look in the mirror? Does your left testicle descend lower than your right? It better. It better. What? What? Normally means if it doesn't, it could mean a couple of things. One, it could mean cancer or that your heart is the other way around. What? What? People are just, people are just stupid. People, people are just profoundly stupid. Stupid. By choice, stupid by choice, and we live in a world where where our and you know it's true where our social media. Uh, do, oh, let me stop right there. Let me tell you what happened yesterday. This weekend we had we had a wonderful time. Mrs. L and I. Oh God, we had some friends in, and we went to a place uh, a place called Serendipity Upper East Side, famous. Andy Warhol went there. Uh, uh, it's famous for ice cream and for kids. Bring your money. Bring your money and uh, bring it. Just bring it. Bring it and hand it to them and say whatever. But it was. But it was very, 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 very uh, well run. They only had two bathrooms, which is really stupid because people are waiting. If I if I ran for office. I would not want to, um, uh, I don't know how I would do this because I think this would go against my, my quote, libertarian streak. But I think what I would do is I would mandate there has to be at least, there has to be double, there, there has to be, there has to be at least the same amount or double the stalls for women that there are urinals and stalls for men. Okay. Women by virtue of micturition and other forms of elimination need a stall. There is no such thing as a urinal, okay? So far, so far. We don't have a trough like we do in, um, 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 you know, famous uh, football stadia. But that's what I would do. One of my many things. Oh, look who it is, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Sparky says, I wonder if the Yankees brought anti-Semitism to the South during Reconstruction, which manifested itself with Leo Frank's lynching. Judah Philip Benjamin was Secretary of State of the Confederacy. You know, uh, Sparky, uh, I think we need to do, we, we, we need to ask ourselves a question. Is there truly anti-Semitism? Is it possible to hate a Jew or hate a black or hate a white or hate an Italian? Not because of their Jewishness, but because they're or because they're Italian, or there there are people who say I don't like those people. Why? Well, I call them Jews. Is it because of Judaism? Well, not I. Whatever. No, I just call them Jews. And you're Greeks because if they're Greeks, no, because of what they're 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 Hellenic. But no, I just call them Greeks, and I call you blacks. They mean Africa. I don't know. I just call them. I wonder sometimes if people can can really truly articulate the bases of their disgust for particular people. Anyway, back to my story. So we're sitting there, and to my left, I mentioned this yesterday. There was a family there, 
there was his father, and he had about, I'd say maybe five little girls. I don't know, 10, 11. They weren't, I don't know, they were kids. My heart leapt. They didn't have a phone in the group. Not one phone. They had toys. These kind of a, they were like making Play-Doh stuff. You know that thing? Remember that thing where you would um, open it up and you would, it had this goop and you would pfft, put your hand in and make kind of like a fart sound. Again, you know. The, and they were talking, they were laughing, and I'm mean, hearing the laughing. I, I thought, oh my God. Ice cream parlor, America, playing with stuff. It, it, just, it just, I thought, oh my God, there's, there's hope. There's hope. Two little girls were at the other table dressed as ballerinas. Yes. Why? Girls. Say it, girls, binary girls, little girls with little girl stuff and little girl uh, nomenclature and little girl culture and little girl, you're into that stuff. You want to act like a little girl. I love that. There is, and these girls, these girls wearing these, with their parents wearing the ballet, nobody taught them to do this. They said somehow, inherently, somehow, through some magic of some uh, 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 ability to understand gender, sometime, somehow they became women. They recognized this is what we do. We are women. I loved it. Or the girls. Then, then, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, oh my God, packed, packed with people at a museum. A museum, not not a not a you know, MoMA. They're, they're huge, but but and the steps and they're outside and it's beautiful. It's like, oh God, maybe somewhere neath this sebaceous cyst called our society, maybe there's some hope. Maybe, maybe, maybe. When people tell me that gender is just, is either or, no, no. Now, you may, if you want, you might be intersexed. You might be, I don't know what you are. But that is the rarity. The rarity of the rare. Doesn't mean that being rare, you know, blue eyes is a rarity. Too. So what? Being left-handed is a rarity. You understand this? I, the, the. Edgewater says, have we got off the rails, Lionel? Oh, off the rails into the ditch. We have, but we're going to pull it back because there is, there is, there are pockets of, of, of lucidity around us. And I'm so glad of that. I mean that sincerely. I mean that absolutely positively sincerely. Now, a couple of things. Uh, one more, one more thing I want to bring you up to speed. Um, tonight, we will not be doing the show during regular time. I've got to do a little thing here, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow morning. In the meantime, I will have videos that will be released and drop later on. Members of the group, members, members, members of our uh, group of our, how do I say this, of our, the Lionel Nation members will get them always first. And that's the way that is. So that's one of the perks that you have for publicly recognizing the fact that you are there. Now, I want to remind you of a couple of things here. First and foremost is this. You see this right now? This is called My Patriot Supply. This is the link. And I want to just tell you about this without any kind of uh, reference to, this makes the most sense. This is preparewithlionel.com. If you go right now, they've got, this is a starter. It's a starter kit. You can save 60 bucks off a four-week emergency food kit. When you hear, when, when you see, just, just do what I say. Go and just buy this, okay? Just, just buy this. It makes so much sense. I've never had, I always thought to myself, there should be a run on this to the point. 2,000 calories a day for four weeks. It's a month. 60 varieties, 25-year shelf life. Breakfast, lunches, dinners, drinks, snacks. And it comes in two rugged buckets, waterproof, 38 pounds each. This is a joke. Save 60 bucks. This is, this is, 
you you should have multiples of this. But but if this if this introduces you, great. People are so weird about food. Like, I don't want to admit that we're that we might be at a well, you better admit it. Well, I don't know. So prepare with Lionel.com. Go right now and do yourself a favor and take advantage of a deal. And they also have other deals depending upon how how uh, how serious you are of 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 saving your life during famine <laughs> or whatever it's called. So Sparky, thank you so much, my friend. Edge Dweller, thank you. And to Jeff Brewer, our new member. We love you madly. Thank you so much. Don't forget to follow Mrs. L. Thank you so much. Her stories have been terrific. Mrs. L, Lynn's Warriors, follow her. Lynn's Warriors, Lynn's Warriors, Lynn's Warriors, follow her. Do it right now without, without further ado. Lynn's Warriors on YouTube. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow morning. Don't forget, uh, videos uh, coming. And by the way, thank you for listening. Thank you for thinking. You are the reason, I swear to God, the fact that you're here every day with me makes me think that, you know what, there's something, there's hope for us. All right, dear friends, have a great and glorious day. We will see you tomorrow. And on behalf of a grateful nation, I always say this to you. I always lend, end with these particular words. The monkey's dead. The show's over. Sue ya. Ta-ta.